The Association of Civil Societies in Malaria Elimination, Immunization and Nutrition is urging for more equity in the improvement of malaria intervention outcomes for those in the communities. This formed part of discussions at the fourth edition of quarterly meeting with partners in Abuja. Kemi Balogo has details, after which we'll have business news. In 2019, Nigeria accounted for more than a quarter of all global malaria cases with a 27% case rating. It is also responsible for about 23% of all deaths around the world yearly. At this quarterly meeting ahead of the World Malaria Day, the concern across this room is how to improve equal access to malaria services for the most vulnerable people and communities. Participants are also focusing on promoting and celebrating the contribution of communities in health interventions. We need to advance equity, not equity that we all need to suffer equally. It should be the equity that we all don't suffer malaria. We need to build re resilience, ensure that our systems are strong, functional, and able to deliver the services that we require. We have a wide number of states that receive early uh, We have their campaigns made to our issues. Uh, of course, we follow the sensitization on how to use the net and care. Uh, malaria prevention is not as uh, prevalent in the, in the urban area compared to the rural areas. It's very high in the rural communities. And most of the challenges that they face include you know, some of them are not aware, so that community ownership is not there. They don't know that these health facilities that they have, they need to own it, they need to support it. The group is urging for more accountability and resources to help interventions leading to an end in malaria disease. The financial value of contributions to Nigeria's health sector from the international community can be tracked. Likewise, allocations from federal and state governments. Where we have the challenges is that the community and the people groups of Nigeria, they can and they should, and they are contributing to their own health outcomes. And where this happens, it should be recorded and celebrated. Advocacy and shared responsibilities through community participation will make a great difference in the fight towards eliminating malaria permanently. Community interventions will continue to play a key role in the run-up to the elimination of malaria. Kami Balogun, TVC News, Abuja.